welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question joint states on courtship so the problem states that to curb the declining literacy in shepherd the government has come up with a new plan you are given an array of size n denoting initial count of literal people in each of the n states of shepherd the government wants the count of literate people in each state to be at least m to do this government can com combine two or more consecutive states to represent a new state the number of literal people in the new state will be equal to the sum of literal people in the individual consecutive states that were combined to create this new state so we need to find the maximum number of states government can have while maintaining the condition that at least m literate people are present in each state and it is guaranteed that m is not more than the sum of ai which means if we sum all the elements of a it is not greater than m m is not greater than it sorry so we have the input as t the number of test cases n and m the number of states initially and minimum number of literate people required in each state and we have the n in integers which are denoting the initial count of literate people in each state so in first test case what we have is 3 and 2 so in case of 3 and 2 if we take so 3 is the n which represents the total number of states and 2 is m the minimum number of literate people required in a state so for the first test case we see 3 so 3 is greater than 2 so minimum we require 2 but there are three literate people so we have count 1 we go to 2 we have two literate people and minimum required are 2 so this state can be included separately so the count becomes 2 and in case of 4 also the count can be increased so the count becomes Three. So our answer becomes three in this case. Now let's understand the second test case. Three, five, three, two, four. So minimum count needed is five now. So to make minimum count five, we can have as you see first three e is less than five. So we combine three with two. Three plus two. This becomes five. So it can be five comma four. But in this case, when you take four, so four is less than five. So we need all the three states. it will become 9 and as 9 is greater than 5 all states are combined to make one state so the answer is 1 and if you take 5 comma 4 then also the maximum answer would be 1 now in case of this you see 3 3 is less than 5 So let us combine. Suppose three and seven, so it will become ten, and eight and two, it also becomes ten. So we have two states. So what we need to do here is the idea is very simple. Just if A is the array. sort a and after sorting what you need to do is just add the elements one by one and keep on comparing if element is greater than or equal to m then increment the count there for the states so count becomes plus 
and keep the initial count suppose i have the current count of the states so i am adding a of i to it if this count is greater than equal to m let s be my maximum count so s will be s plus 1 and i will again set current to 0 because till that point my work is over suppose i am taking 3 and 7 so if i take 3 and 7 and i add them up it becomes 10 so suppose my current is 10 so my states become 1 in this case and my current is again initialized to 0 so that i can have current as 8 plus 2 in the next case and suppose if you go by this approach without sorting it may also work now in case of without sorting what will be the difference let's see so i do 3 plus 7 this becomes 10 count becomes 1 now i move to the next which is 8 8 is already greater count becomes 2 i move to the next so it is 2 2 is not greater so count does not increase and our answer remains 2 so this 2 will not affect our answer and for this problem the code is let's check the code for this so here we have for dash and range t means for the number of test cases we are taking these inputs which are n and m and a is our list so the result is maximum states of n m a so printing here the maximum states we define the current state count as 0 and maximum state count as 0 the current state count is the one which i was taking as c and maximum state count is the one which i was taking as s so for i in range n for we are not sorting here so current state count is plus equal to a i if current state count is greater than equal to m here we are consecutively adding elements and whenever it is greater than equal to m and whenever they are greater than equal to m then we are incrementing the maximum state count and putting our current state count to zero so that it starts adding the elements again and when our maximum state count is calculated we just return it when our whole loops run till n so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching